time. Did you know you can't play games with the Xeon processor? What are you trying to say? I can't do that? You're crazy. That's exactly what I'm saying. You can't use a Xeon. You gotta use something different like an AMD processor. Okay, I guess so. I don't like it, but okay. What up, my fellow gamers? And welcome back to another video. And welcome to the channel. So, in this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the NVIDIA RTX 4060. And I'm going to be using the Intel Xeon E5 2640V3. Now, the reason why I'm using this CPU with this graphics card is because the CPU represents pretty much what the average gamer is using. I know it's not exactly the same CPU that most gamers use, but it's pretty close to, to what most gamers are using in their PCs nowadays. And of course the uh, RTX 4060 came out in May of 2023. So it's NVIDIA's newest 60 series video cards. You know, along the lines of like the 1060, 960, 3060. So I'm definitely interested in seeing just how well does it compare to the previous 60 cards that came before it. Especially given the fact that the 4060 only has eight gigabytes of VRAM and it only has a times eight PCI Express slot. So it is a gimped card to a certain extent. So it's gonna be interesting to see just how well it performs in today's modern games. So, I'm excited and I hope you're excited. So, before I get to those segment videos, of course, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And, you know, remember to visit all my links down below. And, of course, you know, pay a visit to my Etsy store. And, of course, if you even feel brave enough, right, head over to my PayPal donation link you know and just send a few bucks my way you know every dollar i get definitely helps you know because i would definitely love someday to create like an actual studio and bring you better quality videos but at the end of the day i'm just thankful for every like and every view that i get so without much further delay let's get to those videos Hi there everyone. So in this one I'm playing Destiny 2. I'll be using the Xeon E5 2640B3 with the NVIDIA RTX 4060. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings, see what we're playing with here. We're playing at full screen, 2160p, also known as 4K resolution, and we are playing on high settings so in destiny 2 these are the second to highest settings so just to take a look at what exactly does high settings look like in this game so they look like there and we are playing at full render resolution so it's definitely a true 4k resolution here so now the thing with destiny 2 there definitely is some customization so you definitely can customize what you see there so so i'm playing with so all right let's go on back up of course open the director and of course we're just going to head on down to the cosmodrome and as always i'm just going to see how many frames per second i can get using the nvidia rtx 4060 
Alright, so that's it for this playthrough of Destiny 2 using the Xeon processor with the NVIDIA RTX 4060. So overall, what are my thoughts? Well, I'm gonna say, I mean, very good. I mean, we're playing on the second to highest settings at 4K. Game looked good and it played good. So, overall, more than playable. I mean, the RTX 4060 handled it very well. So, if you wanted to play Destiny 2 with this graphics card, you're gonna have no problems at all. So, overall, I enjoyed it. So everyone thanks for watching and everyone have a good one. Hi there everyone. So in this one I'm playing Rocket League. I'll be using the Xeon E5 2640V3 with the NVIDIA RTX 4060. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings. See what we're playing with here. Playing at full screen, 2160p, also known as 4K resolution. No V-Sync, and the frame rate is uncapped, because you want to see how many frames per second we can get. And we're playing on the highest settings. So in Rocket League, high quality is as high as it gets. As you can see, all the boxes are checked. So this is basically the best you can get, other than going higher on the resolution. Let's go ahead and back up. Let's go ahead and jump into a casual match here. And as always, I'm just going to see how many frames per second I can get using this hardware combination. Hey there everyone, so in this one I'm playing Lost Ark, I'll be using the Xeon E5 2640V3 with the NVIDIA RTX 4060. Let's take a look at the graphic settings and see what we're playing with here. Playing at 2160p, also known as 4K resolution, and we're playing on very high settings. So, in Lost Ark, these are the highest possible settings you can get. And really, there's not really a whole lot of customization in Lost Ark. It's a very simple game, actually, graphic setting-wise. So, the only other thing I could do is just increase the screen resolution. But, uh, yeah, but that's it. So, let's go ahead and just jump in the game. And as always, we're just going to see how many frames per second I can get using the NVIDIA RTX 4060. Hey there everyone, so in this one I'm playing good old Fortnite, I'll be using the Xeon E5 2640B3 with the NVIDIA RTX 4060. So let's go and take a look at those graphic settings, see what we're playing with here. In at full screen, 1440p, known as 2K resolution, V-Sync's off, unlimited frame rate because we want to see how many frames per second we can get then as far as the settings we're playing on or I'm playing on epic settings no ray tracing 
Now, the reason why it says custom is just because whenever you go into Epic, it wants to turn the lumen on, and we don't want lumen on. So that's the reason why it uh, does that. So that's what the graphic settings are set to. So, you know, nothing too, too fancy there. So, all right. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and ready up. Jump in a match and let's just see what kind of performance we can get in frames per second on these settings and resolutions. What up everyone, so in this one I'm playing good old Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 I'll be using the Xeon E5 2640 B3 with the NVIDIA RTX 4060 so Let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings, see what we're playing with here So we're playing at full screen 2160p 4k and there it is rtx 4060 of course no v-sync unlimited frame rate because we want to see just how many frames per second we can get so that's what the first screen looks like then as far as quality settings we're playing on minimum settings the lowest you can get it prioritizes the fps and then as far as Frame rate assistance, DLSS, ultra performance. So, and what does that look like as far as the settings? Well, we'll go down and quickly take a look. You know, the one thing with uh, Warzone 2.0 is, you know, there's definitely a lot of customization. So you definitely can play around and figure out what the best settings are. But sometimes I find it's easier just to go with whatever the presets are, it's so, alright. Now that we've taken a look at that, let's go ahead and just jump into the good old Battle Royale here. Ready up. And as always, I'm just going to see how many frames per second I can get using this harbor combination. Hi there everyone, so in this one I'm playing Apex Legends, I'll be using the Xeon 2640B3 with the NVIDIA RTX 4060. So let's go and take a look at the graphics settings, see what we're playing with here. So there it is, full screen, 2160p, also known as 4K resolution, of course V-Sync's disabled, and the settings we're playing on are the highest settings you can get in Apex Legends. So you definitely can't get any higher than this. I mean, the great thing about Apex Legends is there's really not a whole lot of customizations. I mean, the graphics are fairly simple. I mean, the only other thing you could do really is just turn up the resolution. So we're playing with there so nah, not too much to see so all right with that out of the way let's just go ahead and ready up and as always i'm just gonna see how many frames per second i can get using the nvidia rtx 4060. Recharging my shield. Picked up a teammate's banner. 
What up everyone? So on this one I'm playing Dead by Daylight. I'll be using the Xeon E5 2640V3 with the NVIDIA RTX 4060. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings, see what we're playing with here. Playing at full screen, medium settings, so of course in Dead by Daylight, medium settings as well, it's just that, medium settings. And as far as customization, well there's not really any customization in Dead by Daylight. Graphic settings are exactly what you see on the screen. I am playing at 2160p, 4K resolution. Now, the way Dead by Daylight resolution works is you have to set it in the desktop windows display. So, just take my word that we are playing at 4K. Okay, so let's go ahead and just jump into a match here. And as always, I'm just going to see how many frames per second I can get using the NVIDIA RTX 4060. Alright, I am done playing through all seven games. So I definitely had a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed watching them, you know, to see what settings I played at, what resolutions I played at. So now before I get to my final thoughts, of course I'm going to just go over the games that I played off camera that I didn't re record gameplay for, but I did get the numbers. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw the first one on the screen now. So, as you can see, the first one is Apex Legends. Playing at low, medium settings, 1080p, got 144 frames per second. And then, in the second screen you're looking at now, Dota 2, 4K settings, low, fastest settings. Got an average of 144.6, so overall, very good. And then in the next screen you're looking at here, this is PUBG, playing on low settings, 2K resolution, got 153.5. So definitely competitive with this hardware combination. It just shows that the, uh, the Xeon, the E5-2640B3, can play PUBG at competitive settings, so that that is always a good thing. Then of course, last but not least, is PUBG again. Playing it at high settings, 4K resolution, average of 72.9. So again, very good. I mean, it, again, it just shows that this hardware combination can definitely play PUBG at the definitely at the highest settings, and then just like the previous screen at competitive settings too. So overall very good okay so now that we've taken a look at the games i played off camera and i didn't record game play footage for now it's time to get to my final thoughts about the rtx 4060. so overall i'm gonna say it's a it's an all right video card <laughs> i i definitely can't uh can't give it more praise or or better rating than that, to be honest. Because let's go ahead and uh, you know let's look back at the uh, the games that I played through. So the first game was of course Rocket League. I played at 4K settings, high quality settings. I actually got above 144, so of course that's that's always very good. And then in the next game, Lost Ark, I was able to get 60 frames per second, very high settings at 4K, but kind of like I've always said, Lost Ark's not a very PC demanding game. I mean, heck, you can just about play it with anything, really. Then in Apex Legends, 
I was able to play at high settings, 4K resolution, got well above 60 frames per second. No surprises there. I mean, Apex Legends have, have definitely come to the conclusion that it, it plays just about on anything, really. I mean, it technically is a GPU intense game, but it's not a very demanding GPU game. But overall, I mean, more, more than playable with the, the RTX 4060. Then, of course, in Destiny 2, played at high settings, second to highest settings, 4K. You know, got above 60 frames per second, so definitely... Definitely good there. And then of course in good old Fortnite, played at 2K epic settings, which is uh, it's actually very impressive. It's, uh, it's definitely much better than both the RTX 2060 and the 3060 did. So I, I like that a lot. And then of course in good old Warzone 2.0, Minimum settings, 4K, got above 60 frames per second, so it's actually, I would say, as expected. Because, I mean, the 2060 and the 3060 were able to do that, so no surprises there. Of course, I mean, I would have liked to have seen the RTX 4060 do a little bit better in Warzone, but given that Warzone's a more CPU intense game, I mean, I'm not too surprised by that i mean if you really want to see all the the details on warzone and fortnite like you know what settings what resolutions do i recommend definitely check out my previous videos that i did with those two now last but not least the one game that definitely surprised me out of all these games i played through was dead by daylight now dead by daylight i was only able to play at 4k medium settings to get a consistent 60 frames per second because for some reason that game just was stuttering all over the place i mean the the frame time was just crazy i mean it was kind of playable on ultra settings at 4k and high settings but i mean ultimately i had to settle on medium just to be able to to play it normally i mean i i was surprised by that my my guess is it's just because the the times eight PCI slot, you know, is probably what what's limiting that game. It just definitely had a problem with with that times eight. I mean, if you if you played it on a, a times four, you know, six PCI Express slots. I know the uh, the Z on motherboard I use is only limited to uh, the three point but you know, maybe you could get more FPS out of it or more stable FPS, but overall, yeah, I mean, I was definitely uh, surprised by that one. That was the only game that surprised me. So overall, those are the settings I, I played at on the game. So again, like I said at the beginning, you know, my overall thoughts is the RTX 4060 is an okay card. I mean, is it better than a 3060 and 2060 i mean the short answer is yes but not by much not by much is it worth the 300 dollars? i would say no i mean this this graphics card is definitely more like 200 dollars, especially with the 8 gigabyte vram and given the the performance that i saw out of it it's, it's yeah it's not much better i mean definitely can go with the 3060 or 2060 for under $200. So, I mean, it just it pains me to say that, but that's the truth. I mean, the 4060 is just, just not worth it, to be honest. I mean, I, I would take a pass on it. Um, but overall, I mean, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. So, not much more to say. So, I just want to say, if you made it this far in the video, thank you. And just remember to check out all my other videos, share them, like them, and everyone have a great day.